Hi, my name is Simon from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. In this video I'll be explaining how to make sense of the readouts from your new Energex electricity meter, especially in regards to the solar power feed-in tariff. We'll be covering the three main Energex meters, the single phase EM1000 and EM1200 and finally the two phase or three phase Atlas EDMI. Firstly let's look at the EM1000. The EM1000 is a basic single phase meter installed by Energex in South East Queensland. The digital readout scrolls between two different displays. The first display as seen here is showing how much power has been taken or imported from the electricity grid. So in this case 6510 kilowatt hours of power has been taken from the grid so far. This meter is just like an odometer on your car. It will just keep ticking up with every additional kilowatt hour that goes through it. In the top right hand corner of the meter you can see a scroll button. All three of the meters we are looking at today have this button. It's there so you can scroll through the different meter readings. The second readout is easily identified as it's a negative reading, as can be seen from the minus sign in front of the digits. This reading tells you how much solar power you produce in excess or surplus to your requirements. It's important to understand that the surplus or solar feeding reading is for solar power you've produced but not used in your property. This surplus solar power has been fed into the grid, or you could say it's been exported to the grid. This power you produce but haven't used might be used next door or down the street somewhere, and you'll be paid the solar feeding tariff rate that your electricity retailer pays for surplus power. I just quickly want to touch on something that we are often uh, asked in regards to the solar power readings in the meter. The only readings for solar power that are shown in the meter is for the solar power which is surplus to your requirements at your property at any given time. Your solar power system is most likely producing a whole lot more power than what's going back as surplus and this power is being used to cover your power loads but it isn't recorded by the electricity meter at all. It's just saving you from taking more power from the street as the power is instead coming straight from your solar system into your home bypassing the meter altogether. Let's now have a look at the EM1200 meter. The M1200 is also known as a dual tariff meter. It's a clever device that can control off-peak loads as well as a standard power tariff. On the right hand side of the digital display you can see a 01 being displayed. That's designating the principal tariff. The large numbers on the right hand side of the digital display show how many kilowatt hours have been taken or imported from the electricity grid to date. In this case it's 4825 kilowatt hours. Like the EM1000, the EM1200 is continually scrolling through different readings. On this particular reading you can see that the 01 has been replaced by a 30. This 30 designates an off-peak tariff. So the readout of 1224 on the right is the number of kilowatt hours that have been used on the off-peak tariff to date. Possibly for a hot water or a pool pump or some other off-peak load. The final readout on the EM1200 is the 40 readout as can be seen here. 40 is the designation for the solar export tariff or the feed-in tariff. In this case the solar power system has generated 1,164 kilowatt hours in surplus to the property's requirements. This surplus power has been fed back to the grid and the owners will be getting a nice credit on their power bill from it. Do you notice up the top of the meter we've got a little red light? It's on all the, all the meters that we're looking at today and it will turn on and off all the time. All it's doing is pulsing every time one watt hour of power goes through the meter. It's not a fault light or anything to be concerned about at all. The Atlas EDMI is used by Energex when a solar power system is connected to a supply that has two or three phases. It monitors all the phases and only sends surplus solar power back to the grid after the consumption on all the phases has been covered. Some of the old installations of these meters scroll through a whole heap of different readings that don't seem to make much sense. But you only need to worry about two readings, and that's the one with a 001 or a 040 on the left hand side. Firstly, the 001 reading shown here displays power taken or imported from the grid. This reading is a sum or total of power you've taken from the grid across all two or three phases. As I said, the other useful reading on the Atlas EDMI is a 040. As you probably guessed, like the M1200, the 040 reading shows the amount of kilowatt hours that have been exported to the grid from the surplus solar power produced. 
In this case, 382 kilowatt hours have been exported, surplus to the, the uh, customer's requirements. Well, that's the readings of the three power meters that Energex use here on the Gold Coast Explained. I hope you found this information helpful, and thanks for taking the time to watch this video. For more helpful solar power information, check out our website, www.gcsolar.com.au.